So a reading from the chapter Thinking in Groups or Thinking for Ourselves in Praise of Iconoclasm from Within Reason. Americans trust scientists. This may seem surprising to some given how attitudes towards science were politicized during the COVID-19 pandemic. But the data bear it out, the scientific community has long enjoyed public trust. Data show that almost half of US adults say they have a great deal of confidence in the scientific community. This trust has remained fairly stable for decades. Indeed, a core aim of my argument for liberal public health is maintaining this trust. When it looks as if public health has been unduly influenced by emotion and ideology at the expense of reason, it is harder for the public to believe what we say. Sustaining trust means, frankly, being trustworthy, guided by liberal ideals. Underlying this trust is the assumption that science will do what it has done ever since it developed its core methodologies, pursue truth through liberal empirical means guided by data rather than by other incentives, financial or partisan. It is then worth asking, do we in the scientific community do this? On one level, the answer is obviously yes, we do, though perhaps imperfectly. But what if we modify the question to ask, do we do this all the time, or at least enough to fully justify the public's trust in us? How often do we think for ourselves, guided principally by data, and how often are our thoughts shaped by other factors? We are susceptible to other factors, though not necessarily in the sense of being unduly partisan or subject to financial incentives. Instead, science has a weakness for groupthink, for being swayed by the consensus simply because it is the consensus. If this is so, then we have a responsibility, not just to be on guard against this tendency, but also to maintain a healthy level of iconoclasm and instinct for pushing against the consensus as a means of testing our assumptions and ensuring that we are indeed thinking for ourselves. The integrity of the scientific discipline is a key inheritance of the Enlightenment, a period that did much to support an empiric approach to problems. Such integrity, then, is kin to the principles of liberalism that also emerged from the period and are based in part on empirical observations about society and human nature. Keeping science honest is therefore central to supporting the liberalism that informs a healthier world. These Enlightenment principles are the roots of public health. To forget them is, in a fundamental sense, to forget ourselves.